This is an exciting time in multiple myeloma and we are all happy to have CAR T cell therapy for myeloma patients. Now I will specifically talk about BB2121 program which is a CAR T cell against BCMA, B cell maturation antigen. Now briefly, CAR T cells are chimeric antigen receptor T cells and what it means is the antibody which binds to BCMA which is expressed on all the myeloma cells is actually put on top of the receptor for T cell along with the T cell signaling molecule and co-stimulatory molecule. So this is a uh, second generation CAR T cell and this is the patient's own T cells. Now the clinical trial has been uh, ongoing, it's a phase one dose escalation part of the study and we were part of that clinical trial. The abstract shows the results of first 11 patients showing that the doses could be escalated up to 450,000 and now it has been escalated even further and additional results on 10 more patients and the longevity of patients who have responded will be presented in this ASCO meeting. The best part uh, in our own experience since we have treated the patient is that so far this has been well tolerated. There has been cytokine rele release syndrome. That means the T cells, once they, these CAR T cells, once they recognize the cancer cells, they expand rapidly and they release cytokines and kill the cancer cells. And these cytokines can give you side effects for the patient. But in general, uh, at least in the first 11 patient, the CRS you know, gra grading was only up to one to two. So it has not been grade three or four has been encountered. But in the next series they will present here, they have used tocilizumab, so the side effects were predictable and they were also manageable with the help of tocilizumab. And so the patients have all benefited. In our own experience uh, that we had treated a patient, that patient had failed multiple therapy including four prior transplantation and this is the first time he went into complete remission with the free light chain going down to normal after this therapy. So it is very exciting, but obviously phase one and it is preliminary. We want to see how durable it is and whether it will actually pave the way for a curative therapy for myeloma. So that is why there is a lot of excitement around this treatment.